Can you just lift your hands and tell him thank you? Welcome to another time of refreshing in God's presence. Our Lord and our King, we give you glory and honor for your grace over our lives for your love over our lives, for your manifest presence in our lives. Receive all glory in the name of Jesus. As your word come our way today, it will fall on a fetter soil. It will germinate and bring blessings to us and all glory shall be thine. Thank you because we know every form of contention will be contained today and rest will be our portion. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome to Power Over the Deep Part 4. Our anchor scripture has been Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to verse 3. Verse 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, verse 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, Malchiataha, verse 3, and God said, let there be light, and death was light. My God, I love this verse so much, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Journey with me as I make my way to Daniel chapter 2 verse 20. Daniel 2 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. 21. And he changed the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. Verse 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knew what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. Oh my God. And the light dwelleth with him. God is the custodian of light. Maya Kapayataha. And light dwelleth with him. Because light dwells with him. That is why he could boldly declare in Genesis 1 3 Let there be light, and there was light. What you don't have, you cannot give. What you don't own, you cannot control. Light dwelleth with him in your life in your family because light dwells with God. God is releasing light your way today in the name of Jesus. Every controversy from your foundation, every battle raging in the deepest part of your life, light is invading it now in the name of Jesus. In Genesis chapter 1, when God spoke, the word manifested as light and Jesus confirming this again in John 12 46, I am come as a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. In our lives, darkness is a stranger. In our lives, darkness can no longer be tolerated. In any way, we may be mesmerized with any form of darkness. It comes to an end today. In the name of Jesus, if only you can believe, Jesus said you are not permitted to dwell in darkness and darkness is not permitted to dwell in you hallelujah Acts chapter 12 verse 7 Mark and behold the angel of the Lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying I'll rise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hand. And behold, the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Most High God, came unto him in the prison, in the dungeon, in the valley of rejection, in his Ludeba, in his place of captivity. The angel came, and the Bible said, light shined in the prison. The prison could not contain it. There were soldiers all around. There were guards all around. Iron doors had separated him, waiting for him to die, waiting for reproach to come unto him. Him. But we were told um, the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined and light shined. I pray today, let the light of God 
God shine in your direction. Let the light of God shine in your direction. Let the light of God shine in your direction. In any form of captivity that you may have been coupled with, every form of captivity that you may have been struggling with, any form of reproach that you may have been struggling with, every form of limitation you may have been struggling with, every medical report that you may have been struggling with, every form of shame, every form of lack that you may have been struggling with today. The light of God shine in your direction. If only you can believe, my Kupaya. If only you can believe, the light shine in the midst of the prison and the chains fell off. Maya, this light that I'm talking about is powerful. Maya, when the light appeared, the presence of the light, the chains could no longer hold this place. The chains could no longer hold him captive. The chains fell off. They fell off by virtue of the light that God is bringing into our lives in this season. Because we believe every form of chain will fall off. Mental chains, medical chains, financial chains, emotional chains, psychological chains, spiritual chains, physical chains. They will fall off. They will fall off. They will fall. All of them will walk into freedom in the name of Jesus. Mark Payataha. Revelation 21 23. And the sea had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it up, and the lamp is the light thereof. Maya. The glory of the Lord lightened up the city, and the lamp is the light thereof. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. If we can believe in him, the life he carries will manifest in us light and this light shineth in darkness darkness cannot comprehend Colossians 1 12 giving thanks unto the father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light in light our inheritance is in light our inheritance is in light we are legitimate citizens of light therefore whatever does not conform to our legal inheritance Whatever does not conform to our legal divine profession that is prevalent in our lives is cursed today in the name of Jesus. Now that you know, if you believe, you will be partakers of this light. Go before God today and say, Lord, I believe. Therefore, let your light shine forth in my life and let every form of stagnation, imprisonment, captivity be broken. Let God hear your voice. Lift up your voice to the Lord today. She I shall decree with your mouth, so shall it be. The light of God invades your life. Every form of captivity, darkness, rejection, struggle, manipulation, oppression dies in the name of Jesus. You are free to walk in the light that is in the life of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your day is blessed. This season, you are not permitted to see sorrow. This shall be the best Christmas you have ever celebrated in your life. If you believe it, let me hear your love. Amen. Hallelujah. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You are blessed. Amen.